Hey folks, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is multiplying decimals. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And then so there's our common core strand for our cool teachers. And then our question is how do we multiply multi-digit decimals? So we'll show you a few examples here. So here's an example. Last week uh, Melissa worked 38.5 hours in a bakery and she earned uh, $9.90 per hour. So how much did she earn? Okay, so how can we estimate this product? Well, uh, this is close to 40 and this is close to 10. So if we just uh, round those to uh, 10 and 40, then we just multiply 10 times 40. So it's going to be somewhere around $400. Now since since 990 is a little bit less than 10 and since uh, 38.5 is a little bit less than 40, then this estimate right here is going to be a little bit less than 400 right here. But as long as we get in the hundreds, uh, it'll tell us um, uh, uh, our answer right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and multiply $9.90 times 38.5. All right, here we go. So our estimate, remember, is still $400. So we just we go ahead and um, uh, line up the numbers and you do not have to line up the decimals. You do when you add or subtract, but when you multiply, you don't have to. You just multiply like you would whole numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the 5 through, okay? So when we multiply the 5 through, 5 times 0 and then 5 times 9 is 45. Uh, regroup the 4. So then we do 5 times 9 again is 45 and we add the 4 and we get 49. All right. So now we'll go ahead and multiply the next digit through the 8. So we carried a 1 down because this is in the tens spot. So we put a 0 down for the tens spot. Now we'll multiply the 8 times these numbers right here. And when we do that, uh, we get um, uh, 79,200. Now we'll multiply the 3 through. So that's in the hundreds spot. So we put down two zeros for hundreds right there. And then go ahead and multiply the 3 through. 3 times 0 is uh, 0. 3 times 9 is 27. So we'll carry a 2 up there. And then multiply 3 times 9 again. And add that to 27. Uh, 2 plus 27 is 29. Okay, then we add up those uh, partial products right there. So let's go ahead and add the zeros. Now we'll add the 5s and we'll add the 9 and 2 gives you 11. So we'll carry the 1. We'll add the 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 7 gives us 21. We carry the 2. And then, uh, so that gives us uh, 18 when we add those. And then 1 plus uh, 2 is 3 right there, okay? All right, now our estimate, you guys, is 400 right there. So that means we're going to take that number and put the decimal so it rounds to the hundreds spot. So it's going to be $381.15. So do you see how we move that decimal over there so it would fit in the hundreds spot? So this would represent our hundreds right there. Okay, so let's answer the question here. So uh, since the estimate, which is 400, is close to $381.15, then our answer is reasonable. So Melissa earned $381.15 last week. All right. So explain how our estimate helped us where to know uh, uh, where to place that decimal point in the product. Well, our estimate was 400, so that told us that we're going to be uh, putting that decimal so it went to the hundreds spot. So here's 381 right there, and then this is the change, the 15 cents. Okay. So what if Melissa got a raise of a dollar fifty per hour? How could uh, how much would she earn when she uh, uh, works 38.5 hours? Well, since it's the same number of hours, what I'm going to do is do a dollar fifty times thirty eight point five and then just add that to the three eighty one fifteen okay so let's estimate you guys so um a dollar fifty is close to two dollars and so forty times two is eighty dollars more so we're going to round to the tens position now two dollars is is quite a bit more than a dollar fifty so it's going to be it's going to be less than eighty but it's going to be in the probably in the fifties or sixties anyways right there so we just know to round to the tens position because this says eighty it says eight tens right here so whatever our answer is when we multiply those decimals we're going to round to the the tens position. So here I multiplied 38.5 times 1.5 for the dollar fifty right there. You don't need the zero for the 1.5. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 
and then 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42, carry the 4, and then 5 times uh, 3 is, is 15, plus 4 is 19 right there. Okay, now we'll uh, multiply that 1 through, don't forget the 0 right there, and you get 3850, and then we'll add those together. So 5775, do you remember where the decimal is going to go? Well, remember it's going to be in the tens position, so I'll put it right there to make it $57.75. That's how much more she's going to get, okay? So don't forget, we have to add that to what she's already earned, $381.15. So if she got a $1.50 raise uh, per hour, then uh, Melissa would earn $438.90. Okay, now what we could have done is added a dollar fifty to the nine ninety. Remember she started with nine ninety, and if we added a dollar fifty to that, that give us ten dollars forty cents that we can multiply ten dollars forty cents times thirty-eight point five. We should get uh, four hundred and thirty-eight dollars and ninety cents. So either way is okay, you guys. So here's another way, you guys. You just count the decimals. So we don't um, uh, if you just uh, count the decimal places in each number and then you add those decimal numbers together, and that'll tell you how many decimal places it moves the answer to the left. So in that last example, here's two decimal places right here. Here's one more decimal decimal place right there. So if we add those, then it means you move the decimal three places. So start here and go three places to the left, and so it would go right there. Okay, well we used an estimating there, and we knew it would round to the hundreds right there, but this is another way, and this is the way I usually do that, you guys, is uh, I add up the decimals. And So let's try that with this, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and multiply right here. So multiply like they're just regular old whole numbers. Let's do the sixth first, okay? So when we multiply the six. 504. Now we'll multiply the 9. Don't forget to carry the 0. And then 9 times 84 gets us 7560. And we'll go ahead and add those together. And we get 8064. Okay, now this is where we use the decimal trick. So we'll add these decimals. There's three decimals here, or three digits uh, after the decimal. There's three digits after the decimal here. So what that means is we... Um, uh, we go ahead and add those together, and that tells us we're going to move the decimal six places to the left. So from here, we're going to go over here, one, two, three, this is four. Well, we got to do two more, so five and then six. So what that means, you guys, is um, there's two blank spots. We put the zeros in there, okay? So um, when we multiply that product, we get uh, 0 0.008064, okay? All right, so this ends in the tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. This is the hundred thousands. This is the millions. So this says 8,064 millions THS, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for that yet, but that's what that says because it ends in the million spot. All right, let's try that with this one. So we'll evaluate 30, or 0.35 times this sum right here. So let's do the sum first because it's in parentheses right there. So let's go ahead and add those. We get 1.72. Now we'll just multiply 1.72 times 0.35. Remember, when you multiply, you don't have to line up the decimals, although they do nicely on this one right here. We just multiply like the regular or whole numbers and then there's two decimals here there's two decimals here so we'll at the end move it four places okay let's mu multiply the five through okay now we'll multiply the three through and we'll add those together 6020 okay now we do two places and two places gives us four places to the left so there it is moved four places to the left so the value of that expression is uh, uh, 0 0.602 let's check this out tenths, hundreds, thousands. This says 602 thousandths THS, okay? All right, hey, look for a pattern here. So 0.645 times 1 is 0.645. That's easy. Well, when we multiply 0.645 times 10, it gives us 6.45. Look, it moved the decimal over one place to the, to the right. When we multiply by 10, look, there's one zero one place to the right. So the decimal moved one place to the right. All right, what about if we multiply it by 100? Well, if we multiplied it by 100, it would give us uh, 64.5. And then check this out. There's two zeros on 100 right here, and it just moves the decimal over two places to the right. So let's do it by 1,000. And we multiply it by 1,000, it's going to move it three places to the right. So the decimal's right there. And if it's at the, at the end, you don't need to put a decimal there. So the trick on this is, you guys, is when we're multiplying by powers of tens, decimals by powers of tens, it moves the decimal to the right the same as the number of zeros there are in your powers of ten. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson helps, and take care.